you know, when you date someone and then you go back a couple years later and you think that you see it with whole different eyes when you're 17 as you did when you were 15. I mean, it was all very young. But I just was like, yeah, n no, mm, no. And you got on a Greyhound and you went to L.A.? Mm -hmm. Did you know that you wanted to act, that you wanted to be an actress? Oh, yeah, definitely. I didn't know how I was going to do it or how it was going to work, but I but I just was determined. How did it work? You get, you get off the bus. I mean, this is a cliche. You get off the bus in L.A. and you're like, I'm going to be a star. Pretty much, I did. I actually, I bought a book called How to Make It in Hollywood at Samuel French Bookstore. And I read about a manager, Bob McGowan. He's still a manager today. He was my first manager. And he was Julia Roberts' manager at the time. And she was the biggest, you know, star in the world. And I was like, oh, I should call him. So I called him and he ended up being my first manager. Um, and I don't really know why he agreed to take me on. I had like... A thick Australian accent, and I'd never really done anything. Um, and then you ever I ever walk around LA just telling this story to other struggling actresses just to watch their hearts melt <laughs> and watch them yeah, get I'm like, angry? Just buy this book, How to Make It in Hollywood. It'll totally change your life. How did you mean? I just got off the bus, got a book, got a manager, whatever. I mean, it pretty much, it was rare. It, it, I mean, I called other people who hung up and said, and I sort of stalked some where I was like, it was too, I called a lot. I was like, I really think you should reconsider not wanting to meet with me. And they're like, yeah, see, yeah, click. But Bob McGowan just kind of liked my chutzpah, as they say, and, and he became a manager and I introduced me to agents. And <laughs>